<clears throat> Her story as a collection of game mechanics is not complicated. You sit at an old school computer browsing through a clunky police database watching videos of a woman from 1994. What is complicated though is the way the story unravels within the game in a non-linear fashion. It's the combination of those two which makes the game so good. The central game mechanic isn't there to trick you. You enter a word or phrase in inverted commas and any video matching those terms will pop up for your viewing pleasure. Of course, eventually you have to get a little smarter about what you're searching, since the ancient computer system will only dole out the first five videos in chronological order. But finding and watching the majority of the clips isn't the real hurdle. The real task lies in piecing together the narrative from the dozens of bits you discover in your own random order. There are any number of ways to interpret and link each video to one another, which means there's many paths you can take as you try to piece out the story to create a whole. The game may begin with the word murder slung into the search bar, but where you go and what you discover from there is entirely up to you. It's a tricky thing for a narrative-based game to decide to go non-linear. You risk alienating people who find it tough from the start or delivering a jumble of nonsense to people who don't put the effort in. But her story puts a lot of trust in us. It's like exercise, you get out what you put in. With a game this unstructured, that can mean putting in an awful lot. It means getting out a notepad, jotting down key words, and drawing mind maps. Using the in-game video tagging tool, or lining up several videos in a sequence to get a better understanding of what's really going on. Her story trusts its players to make the effort, and from everybody I've spoken to who's played this game, more often than not, they do. In the same way that difficult games like Dark Souls or Super Meat Boy or mechanically vague ones like The Vanishing of Ethan Carter, trust that you'll keep trying and ultimately work it out, her story does the same. There's nothing to suggest that there's a right or wrong way to go about your investigation through the police archives. Even if you watched every one of the 270 videos in the database, it's not necessarily an indicator of how much of the story you've actually comprehended. And given this is a narrative-driven game, unraveling and getting your head around the story is the ultimate puzzle. If you've ever seen a cop show, you understand how the interrogation process works. Her story enables you to play detective, but with some intentional missing pieces to make it all the more engaging. You can't ask your own questions since you're watching archived videos, and you can't corroborate evidence. You don't get to hear the questions the interrogating detectives at the time asked, which sometimes leads to a frustratingly one-sided conversation. The woman's opinions, reactions, and her story is the only information you have to go on, and it's up to you to discern the truth from the lies and use your own personal personal logic to figure out exactly what happened. It's a refreshing change from the hand-holding tutorials and objective markers of modern games that worry way too much about whether we'll get lost or confused and lose interest in playing. Her story is special because it's a game of dualities. Truth and lies, victims and perpetrators, simple game mechanics and complicated narrative structures. It trusts us with its complexity and pushes the boundaries of what video games are and could be. And if all that sounds like your thing, it's well and truly worth your six bucks. <laughs>